Thermodynamics is the branch of physics that deals with heat and temperature and their relation to energy and work. It's a science that explains how energy moves and changes form. Thermodynamics is essential because it helps us understand how machines work, predict weather patterns and even comprehend the life processes of organisms. To grasp thermodynamics, one must first understand a few key terms. Temperature measures how hot or cold something is. Heat is the energy transferred between objects due to a temperature difference. Energy is the ability to do work or produce change. Work happens when a force moves an object. Thermodynamics is based on four fundamental laws, the zeroth, first, second and third laws. Each law builds on the previous ones and provides a more in-depth understanding of energy and its transformations. These laws are like the rules of a game, setting boundaries on how energy can be used and transferred. In this essay, we will explore each law in detail. We will start with the zeroth law and progress to the third law. By the end, you should have a solid understanding of the principles that govern the behavior of energy in our universe. The zeroth law of thermodynamics introduces the essential concept of thermal equilibrium, which is a foundational principle in the study of thermodynamics. This law is fundamental because it allows us to define temperature in a meaningful and consistent way, providing a basis for understanding heat transfer and energy balance. It states that if two systems are each in thermal equilibrium with a third system, then they are in thermal equilibrium with each other, creating a transitive relationship. Imagine you have three cups of water, each labeled A, B, and C. Cup A is at the same temperature as cup B, indicating they are in thermal equilibrium. Similarly, cup B is at the same temperature as cup C, showing another instance of thermal equilibrium. According to the zeroth law, this means that cup A must also be at the same temperature as cup C, completing the transitive relationship. This situation means all three cups are in thermal equilibrium with no temperature difference between them. Thermal equilibrium is a state where no heat flows between objects because they are at the same temperature, ensuring a stable energy state. When objects are in thermal equilibrium, they have reached a balance and there is no net energy transfer between them, maintaining a constant temperature. This concept is crucial for creating accurate thermometers, which rely on thermal equilibrium to measure temperature precisely. Thermometers measure temperature by reaching thermal equilibrium with the object they are measuring, ensuring an accurate reading. If the thermometer and the object are at the same temperature, the thermometer can give a correct and reliable reading. Without the zeroth law, the idea of temperature would be inconsistent, making it impossible to measure accurately and understand thermal interactions. The first law of thermodynamics is fundamentally about the conservation of energy. It states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. This principle is crucial in understanding how energy flows and changes in various systems. This law is also known as the law of energy conservation, emphasizing that the total energy in an isolated system remains constant over time. It's like a budget that always balances. The total amount of energy in a closed system remains constant. Consider a car engine, for instance. When gasoline burns, chemical energy is converted into kinetic energy, motion and heat. This transformation is a perfect example of the first law in action. The energy doesn't disappear, it just changes form, ensuring that the total energy remains the same. The first law ensures that when you account for all forms of energy, the total amount stays the same. This is vital for energy management and efficiency. Mathematically, the first law is written as du equals q minus w, where du represents the change in internal energy. Here, du is the change in internal energy of a system, q is the heat added to the system, and w is the work done by the system. This equation is fundamental in thermodynamics. This equation helps us understand how energy changes within a system, providing a clear framework for analyzing energy transformations. For example, if you heat a pot of water on a stove, the heat energy, Q, from the stove increases the water's internal energy, du, demonstrating the first law. If the water boils and pushes up the lid, it's doing work, W, converting some of the internal energy into mechanical work. The total energy change considers both the heat added and the work done by the system, ensuring a balanced energy equation. Section 4, the second law of thermodynamics. 
The second law of thermodynamics introduces the concept of entropy, a fundamental principle that governs the behavior of energy in our universe. Entropy is a measure of disorder or randomness in a system. It quantifies how much energy in a system is unavailable to do work. This law states that in any energy transfer or transformation, the total entropy of a closed system will always increase. This means that energy will always spread out and become more disordered over time. In simpler terms, energy tends to spread out and become more disordered over time. This is why we observe natural processes moving towards a state of greater disorder. Think about an ice cube melting in a glass of water. The ice cube represents a state of low entropy because its molecules are in a highly ordered structure. As the ice melts, the orderly structure of the ice cube, which is low entropy, breaks down into the more disordered liquid water, which is high entropy. This transformation is a clear example of increasing entropy. The second law tells us that processes naturally move towards a state of greater disorder. This is why we see phenomena like rusting metal and decaying fruit, where order breaks down over time. This law also explains why certain processes are irreversible. Once energy has spread out and increased entropy, it cannot spontaneously return to its original, more ordered state. For example, you can't unmix a mixed dye in water or unscramble an egg. These processes increase entropy, making it impossible to return to the original, more ordered state without external energy input. These processes increase entropy, making it impossible to return to the original, more ordered state without external energy input. This is a fundamental aspect of the second law. The second law is why machines and engines can never be 100% efficient. No matter how well designed, some energy is always lost as heat, increasing the system's entropy. Some energy is always lost as heat, increasing the system's entropy. This loss of usable energy is a key factor in the design and efficiency of machines. This inevitability puts a limit on how much useful work can be extracted from a given amount of energy, influencing the design and efficiency of real-world machines. Engineers must always consider the impact of entropy when creating new technologies. Section 5. The Third Law of Thermodynamics The third law of thermodynamics relates to absolute zero temperature. It states that as the temperature of a system approaches absolute zero, the entropy of the system approaches a minimum value. Absolute zero is the lowest possible temperature at which a system has no thermal energy. Absolute zero is measured as zero Kelvin, which is equivalent to minus 273.15 degrees Celsius or minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, the particles in a system would be at their lowest energy state exhibiting minimum movement. However, reaching absolute zero is practically impossible. The third law has important implications for understanding the behavior of materials at very low temperatures. For example, certain materials become superconductors, conducting electricity without resistance when cooled near absolute zero. This phenomenon can be explained by the third law. The third law also helps explain why it is challenging to remove the last bit of thermal energy from a system. As you get closer to absolute zero, removing additional energy requires increasingly more effort, making it an asymptotic goal rather than an achievable state. Section 6. Real-world applications of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics has numerous real-world applications. Engineers use these principles to design engines, refrigerators and air conditioners. For example, car engines rely on the first law to convert chemical energy from fuel into mechanical energy to move the vehicle. In the medical field, thermodynamics helps in understanding how the human body regulates temperature. The second law explains why fevers occur and how the body seeks to maintain an optimal temperature by releasing excess heat. Thermodynamics also plays a crucial role in environmental science. It helps scientists understand how energy flows in ecosystems and the effects of human activities on climate. The first and second laws explain how energy from the sun powers life on Earth and how entropy affects ecological balance. In space exploration, thermodynamics helps in designing spacecraft and life support systems. Engineers use these principles to manage heat and energy efficiently ensuring that astronauts can survive in the harsh conditions of space. Section 7. Conclusion 
In conclusion, thermodynamics is the study of energy, heat and work. It is governed by four fundamental laws, the zeroth, first, second and third laws. The zeroth law introduces the concept of thermal equilibrium, allowing us to measure temperature accurately. The first law emphasizes the conservation of energy, showing that energy can only change forms but never be created or destroyed. The second law introduces entropy, explaining why processes naturally move towards disorder and why perfect efficiency is impossible. The third law deals with absolute zero, highlighting the challenges of reaching the lowest possible temperature and its implications for material behavior. Thermodynamics has wide-ranging applications in engineering, medicine, environmental science and space exploration. Understanding these laws helps us harness energy more efficiently, design better machines and improve our understanding of natural processes. Thermodynamics is essential for advancing technology and solving real-world problems.